Hi, this is Keith and Brian. We're going to take a moment to introduce our new decoder for the SC1 keyway. You'll also notice that it's on our LTKSD 2.0 tool. So, what we have is essentially the same thing as the KW1. It's just on an SC1 key blank to cover the new keyway that QuickSets come out with. So there are several differences here, of course, you have more depths, and with our chart here, you can see the different depths. And we'll go through reading it, and there's also, of course, your spacer orientation picture like before, and there's some handy notes on the back side of it as well. Now what's in, one of the things that is important is helps to understand that all of the wafers in these locks are identical to each other. The only difference is the point of the wafer that you're viewing. So like for example, this little blue box is the portion of the wafer that you're looking at through the scope when you're doing the decoding process. And as you can see, this little spot moves because the wafer, the viewing area that you're decoding is shifting from one depth to another depth. So that helps in understanding what parts of the wafer you're looking at to understand the decoding process. So I'm just gonna unclip this real quick just because we're at a desk and it's easier just to have it sitting next to us rather than dangling off of it. Set this over here. You can choose to use the spacers if you want to. They're not really necessary for myself, so I'm not going to use the spacers. But you can, for demonstrations, the spacer orientation would go on like so. You'd put it on like that if you are reading the number two space. You just put it in there like so. Put it in the lock up until it stops. And then you should be lined up on position two. All right, so we'll take the spacers off, set that down there so it stays nice and neat so you can see it. Let me go ahead and turn it on. Okay, once you get it turned on, you're gonna see the LED lighten up and the lights on the back will be lit up. You'll see, like before, you have a blinking blue light. That means it's looking for a connection on your Wi-Fi on your phone. So, with the new tool, there's going to be a new app. It's called Max View. Okay, you click on Max View. The process for connecting has been simplified as well. You're going to go ahead and just hit Connected Devices. It's going to come up with all the local Wi-Fi connections it sees. You're just going to pick your scope. It's going to be a max view and then your serial number. Let it connect. Then you're going to back out, go back to this screen. And now we're going to hit, you also see power remaining. Right now it's at 20%, which is approximately, well, just dropped to 10% and nine minutes. So we're going to go ahead and hit that to go to the scope. It's always going to come up in landscape view. We're going to hit the landscape view button up here to change it. All right. So now we're ready to do some decoding. We're going to put the tool in here all the way to the back. <clears throat> okay. So now I know that that's lined up on the last position. So the way because there's 10 positions, the, sp the spacing, the distance between each posi position, not position, each depth is going to be less than what you're used to typically on the KW1 tool. So what I suggest doing is when you put it in there, you get it in position, rotate it a little bit to the right, rotate it a little bit to the left. And you see the distance? What you're wanting to count is these little ridges here. And you're always wanting to start from the top of uh, that's your baseline to measure everything from is the top of the mirror okay your top of the mirror is going to be right here 
top of the mirror is right here. So always count from there down. The bottom of the camera will always be blurry. That's because the LED light is in the camera viewing area and it's not in the focal point so it's going to come up as a blur. So never really try to decode from the bottom up. Always decode from the top down. So here I've rotated it both directions. I'm just going to kind of bring it back to the middle and take a measurement. So I see one, two, three ridges. Okay, so if I see three ridges, it's going to look like this three over here. So now I'm going to come over here and write down a three for number five because I'm starting at the back of the lock. If you're starting at the front of the lock, then of course write it down accordingly. Going to move it back to the next position. Okay, so here, rotating it to the right, rotate it back to the left, bring it back to about the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to say that's a zero for position four. Okay. Then we're going to come back out to the next one. Alright, so here we're looking, if you come over here and look at our diagram, you can tell this big old half moon circle is the bottom of our wafer. And you can tell from the diagram that's the area we're looking at. Over here you can see really close to the bottom of that wafer. So you can also, if you rotate it, you can see just one of the notches starting to show up at the top. So I'm going to say that this is going to be a, let's see, I'm going to say that's a six because you got a notch right there at the top if I rotate it. And right here at the, the five, it's got a notch showing. We don't, we don't have a notch showing unless we rotate it. So centered, we're right there at the verge of having a notch showing. So I'm going to say this is a six. All right, record my six. Moving on to the next position. Same thing, I have to rotate it to get a notch to show right in the center there's no notch showing. So I'm going to go back to here and there's no notch showing. I'm going to write down a six again. Come out one more position. Now this particular wafer is kind of an oddball. They do show up occasionally. They're not very common. As you can tell it looks a little bit different. However, it reads the same as the regular notches. So here, let me get it moving back up. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. We got five bumps. One, two, three, four, five bumps. So even though that wafer physically looks a little bit different than this, these bumps right here correlate to these bumps right here on the wafer. And we're going to say that's a one. All right, so there's our cuts, 16603, and I will cut and go cut a key to that, and we'll come back and see if it operates a lot. Okay, we're back with the key that's cut to 16603, and we'll go ahead and see if it operates a lot. Yes, it does. All right, so there you have it. Decoded, smart key, quick set lock for the SC1 keyway.